Hello and welcome to the series of videos where we will be showing you the various features in our latest curtain wall tool for Open Buildings Designer Connect Edition. So, let us begin. Now we will be elaborating on the delete path option for curtain wall. Firstly, you can see that we have drawn two shapes which we'll use to create two separate curtain walls. So we go to the place by shape option from the placement tab and then activate the delete path button. Then we select the shape which we want to convert to a curtain wall and accept our selection. Now we will go to the placement tab and deactivate the delete path option. Then select the shape that we want to use to place our curtain wall and accept the selection. Then if we move these curtain walls we can see that the underlying shape is visible for the curtain walls for which we did not turn on the delete path button. And for the one we did activate the delete path option the underlying shape or path is deleted. Here we are going to show the height option for curtain walls. This option can be used to create curtain wall of various heights as per the user's requirement. To utilize this, first let's go to the curtain wall tool and while we are in the tool, we can see the height option in the placement tab which is currently 3000 mm. We select two data points to place the curtain wall of height 3000 mm. Now let us change the height to 5000 mm. This invariably changes the height of the curtain wall that has been placed to 5000 mm. Now if we go to the right view, we can see the difference in height between the two curtain walls. Here we are going to show the base offset options for curtain wall placement. Let us go to the curtain wall tool where we select the place by line option for a curtain wall of height 5000 mm. Now we will initially take the base offset as 0 and place the curtain wall. We select a data point and provide a length of 4000 mm and click to place the wall. Our curtain wall is placed. Here you will notice that the curtain wall is placed exactly on the grid. Now let us provide a base offset of positive 500 mm and place the curtain wall in a similar manner as before. Here it can be seen that the curtain wall base is offset from the grid line at a height of 500 mm. Finally, we will provide a base offset of negative 500 mm and place the curtain wall using data points. So you can see that the curtain wall is placed at a negative 500 offset from the grid line. Make sure you also watch the other videos in this series to know more about curtain walls in Open Buildings Designer.